Good afternoon. I am Foster Sin. I am the mayor of the city of Newberry, and I'm glad to be joined by Barbara Miller, who's with the Small Business Administration at Newberry College. Barbara, thank you for joining us today. We are here uh, to talk about small business. Uh, COVID has been so tough on many people uh, financially, including small businesses, and I'm uh, really pleased that the Payroll Protection Program as part of the CARES Act has benefited hundreds of companies in Newberry community and uh, hundreds have gotten funding. The good news is for those who have it, there's still time to apply. June 30th is the deadline, but you got to get your paperwork in very, very soon. Barbara, how about tell us what PPP is? Well, thank you, Foster, for the opportunity to speak with you and the community. Uh, the payroll protection program is indeed a loan that is available to um, virtually every business, including sole proprietors, because after all, they have a payroll too. It's just them, but it is a payroll. And um, the cutoff date for the loan applications is June 30th. These are loans that are backed by the Small Business Administration, but administered through local financial institutions. And so the way to get started is to get in touch with your banker um to see if they are going to be handling those loans and if they are taking applications i do know that a few of the local banks are um going to take applications through the end of this week through the 19th um and that will allow them time to get all the papers processed before june 30th if you need a little longer you may need to check with another bank in the community or there are some online banking institutions a lot of people have accounts already with PayPal or Quicken or some of the others. Uh, Cabbage is another one, uh, uh, Square, that are offering these loans as well. So if you cannot connect with your local bank, if they're not taking applications, that is an alternative. All of the application process is done online. You do need to have certain documents ready depending on what type of business you are. The easy one to start with is every applicant needs their driver's license, picture of it in color front and back. And then depending on if you're a sole proprietor or whether you're a corporation, an LLC, a nonprofit or so on, there are other paperwork that you need. Because this is called the payroll protection program, the funding is based primarily on the size of your payroll and the objective of course is to lend you enough money to keep funding that payroll and keep your folks at work or bring them back to work as soon as you're able and so so you'll need payroll information All right. and so the best thing barbara is to get on it immediately uh, you exactly said. Exactly. Uh, call the, your local bank uh, that you deal with already or if not there are other banks in town that are that I've talked to and you've talked to this week that are still taking applications. That's Maybe check with your accountant, your payroll person, they can help you pull together the documents. And they're the national organizations like you referred to. Uh, it's a loan of 1% over uh, five years, I believe you told me, Barbara. But yeah. there's a sort of forgiveness portion. So there's great opportunity there. How about talk about that, please? Well, the forgiveness portion is uh, based on how much of the funding you use towards payroll. That's the whole idea, keep folks paid. So you need to demonstrate after getting the money and spending it that you have spent 60% of the money in payroll costs. Now that's not just your net payroll, the checks that go to employees, but any benefits that you might pay, any insurance you might pay, any contributions to 401ks, all of that is considered part of payroll. But if you get a certain figure for your loan, 60% of that amount needs to be going toward payroll. And your accountant can provide you the records that would demonstrate that. The rest of the funding can use be for working capital, uh, keeping your business going. All right, and Barbara, I, Small Business Administration, you're there to help too. If people have a question, I'm sure they could get in we touch are, with you. We are, and we're doing a couple of things. First of all, I'm always happy to consult with people directly, one-on-one, -on -one. and because we're funded by the Small Business Administration, uh, all of our counseling services to our clients are free of charge. And they can find me, let me hold this up and put it here. I don't know if that shows, but this is- A little is higher. Higher. There you go. And this is our website. Right. And they can 
go to that web address, click on this little button and sign up for an appointment and I'll get notified right away. Okay. If you, if you have a payroll protection loan already and you're already sweating how you're going to figure out whether you've spent the right amount of it on payroll, um, there is going to be a training event on the 18th at 10 o'clock in the morning, a webinar that anyone can sign up for who already has one of those loans. And this would be the website that you would go to, same place I showed earlier, but then go to training events, up pops a little calendar and you just click on the event and sign in. And again, right. it's free of charge. Well, Barbara, we'll put links up to those on the city uh, Facebook sites. And right. again, uh, thank you for joining us today. PPP is a great opportunity for small businesses that have not explored it, look into it, see if it's right for you, and then get with your bankers, your accountants, with the small, Barbara Small Business this week. Uh, yes. you, really, you really have to get on it. It's a great program and, it, and it's winding down. Barbara, thanks for joining us today and uh, good luck to all of our small businesses. And we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.